Hey guys, it's Kimberly. I am back with another vlog today. Uh, if you're new here, I run an Etsy shop slash business with our own website now, which is pretty cool, um, with my husband, Patrick. Our, our company is called Darling Rosary and we sell rosaries and a lot of other Catholic gifts. And we're just constantly expanding to new projects, new handmade stuff to try out and make. So um, today I'm just gonna be taking you along a day in my life. It's now my weekend. I work a full-time job on top of running our um, business. So, so my weekends are definitely filled with like a lot of shop stuff. <laughs> Today is Thursday, September 14th, and I have a little to-do list sitting here. So I'm kind of hoping that the first thing I can get done quickly <laughs> is make a couple of rosaries. We have three orders to fulfill this morning. And then I'm gonna pack those two and we're gonna ship them out this afternoon. And that's kind of like, whenever it's a, a shop day, that's usually what I try to get done first is get orders taken care of and then uh, move on to like other stuff. It's nice to get like the most important thing done first. And then let's see, today I also know that we got some beads in. Um, so I've got to inventory those. So we'll inventory some beads. And then I'm also super excited because we're getting a package today. At least I think, I think it's supposed to be delivered of some parts to make a necklace. So we're kind of thinking about diving into making jewelry, which would be super new for us. But I just, I don't know, we're feeling like really called and interested in that. So I want to just try it out, see how it goes. It's like we want obviously to make jewelry that is a little bit nicer quality, um, at least gold filled, you know, like so it doesn't tarnish as quickly. I just, I, I love gold filled jewelry. Like I wear constantly, I'm sure you can see my earrings here. They're um, gold filled and I literally can like shower with these on and nothing happens to them. So I just, I like having higher quality um, in mind at least. And obviously we'd be doing more like Catholic Cent Catholic and Christian centered designs. I, we ordered like just enough parts to make a necklace for me and I'm going to just do wear tests on it, you know, just kind of abuse it <laughs> as much as I can, like, and just see how it holds up, see how this manufacturer's um, stuff holds up. So that'll be fun. I'm excited about that. I may or may not get to vlog it today. I have no idea when it's going to be delivered. So we'll see. And then I'm looking at my to-do list. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I gotta plan Instagram content for next week. I, we're trying to be better about posting on Instagram. It's certainly neither of our strengths doing social media. Like, oh, it's just, it's kind of like pulling teeth sometimes, but I don't know. It, it, it's ultimately rewarding is nice. It's, there is an awesome like community that I feel like we've found on Instagram. So that's motivating, but I don't know. It's a lot of work. It's like crazy. So I'm just gonna, at least today, like plan out what I want to post next week. And then like tomorrow and Saturday, um, Patrick and I'll just get all the content made for that. So I don't know what else we'll do, but Let's get into it. I feel like I've talked enough. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start making some rosaries. I've got three of them to make, so let's go ahead and do that. You know, we have two of our St. Therese of Lizelle rosaries, and then we have a pink and gold Our Lady of Guadalupe. That is our like best seller. Um, I actually just noticed like this, this week or last week that it has the best seller tag on it on Etsy now, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> it made me so happy. That was a really cool accomplishment. We've never had any of our products get that tag. So that was really exciting. Um, we also just hit 500 orders recently on our Etsy shop, which is also just like crazy to me. We are going to be coming up on our one year shop anniversary on October 1st. So 
so I can't believe it's almost been an entire year that we've been doing this. And honestly, God has blessed us so much this year with this shop. I, I couldn't be more grateful for it. It's really helping us with, you know, our personal finances and then also just the joy it brings, like that people are praying with our rosaries and gifting them to their loved ones. I just, oh, anytime I hear stories from customers, I like, I get a little bit emotional. <laughs> it's really awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna stop blubbering and <laughs> we're gonna go make a rosary. Hey guys, so I just finished making the other two rosaries, so I brought all three of them made, and now it is time to just get the orders packed.
Hey guys, so I just finished packing the orders as you saw. Somehow it is already 11 o'clock. <laughs> I feel like Thursday vlogs are always a little like crazy and hectic. And it's also the day I usually talk to like my parents because we don't live near each other. I uh, enjoy our long phone conversations very much. But yeah, I'm going to go eat some lunch real quick. And then I think I think the jewelry parts are going to get delivered really soon. So I'll probably eat lunch. If the jewelry stuff's here, I'm going to unbox it. Um, yeah, so we got to do some inventory soon, or inventory as well. Um, beads that came in this week. And we'll see what else we find to do. So I just ran to the mailbox and got the package of jewelry. So I'm super excited to open that with you. I took a bit of a break. It's like 1.30 now. I've been talking to my uh, mom on the phone and my dad. So that took up a lot of my time, which is totally fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and open this up real quick and we'll see see how we're feeling it's always a toss-up when you <laughs> order from like a new company or something um especially when it's jewelry parts which we've never done before so no idea what to expect i'm opening this in the worst way possible um and try not to show my address all right so looks like we have like everything is just in this yeah this little thing Got a couple of baggies here with the jewelry parts in them. They look really pretty, so that's good. So basically, I ordered uh, one necklace chain, one lobs lobster clasp, <laughs> and then one um, necklace chain extender, and a really pretty. Um, our Lady of Guadalupe medal, so I'll show you guys here. These are the parts that we got. This is the Our Lady of Guadalupe medal. Maybe if it'll, man, it really doesn't want to focus on it. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, and this chain right here. I mean, it, honestly, first impression, everything feels really nice. So, so I think I will go ahead and make that necklace real quick and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I just finished making this necklace. I think it looks really pretty. I made it a, like a 16 inch necklace, but it also has this extender on the end, so you can go up to 18 inches in length. The only thing I forgot was to get, I don't know if you can tell, these jump rings are um, a little bit more yellow of a gold. I forgot to get these in 14, or in uh, gold filled, and so I had to just use some cheap jump rings that I have on hand. They're in this like, I bought these like forever ago. Um, this little kit, they're not gold filled, but this necklace is just gonna be for personal use. So I figure I'll get gold filled ones in the future, but I think this looks super pretty. Hey, okay, so I just put the necklace on. It's so bright in here. Uh, sorry, I just got a watch notification, but Hopefully you can kind of see it there. I think it looks super cute. Ignore my other necklace that I have on. Um, I love it. I think it's really pretty. I'm excited to kind of see um, how it wears. If it's, 
you know, something that holds up to a really, really good wear test or not. The lighting is really harsh. It's like afternoon. So <laughs> sorry that I'm like half in shadow. Hopefully it holds up well because I really want to love this company that we're buying from. It's just, you just never know until you try yourself, you know? So we will see. I'll keep you guys posted in like the next vlog or two or whatever, how it's going with it. It'll be our a little experiment here, but everything on it is gold filled. So we'll see if that's really true or not. You never know. I think the last thing that I need to do today is just get our beads inventoried. So let's go do that real quick. We've got to de-strand the beads and get them into our inventory system. We use uh, inventory for like all of our inventory stuff. They are amazing. It's free. I love it. You can get a paid version, but we just use the free version. I am going to go do that and I will take you guys along into the uh, craft room. That's where we keep all of our like beads and stuff. We did, this is new over here though. I'll flip you guys around. We're missing a couple. Ignore our really ugly water heater, but we put this glass shelving unit, uh, which if you watched our Ikea DIY video, this used to be like where all of our packing stuff was, but we put it in this craft room and it's right next to, this is all of our like, um, oh goodness, all of our crucifixes and centers and some beads. And then these are just all of our wood beads that we use for rosaries. And these are just like our most popular wood colors. We have a couple missing there over here. I used these earlier and need to put them away. We're gonna be placing a bead order soon here for wood beads to really stock up for like before um, all of our sales because we're gonna be doing the typical, you know, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday kind of sales before Christmas. So I really wanna get all of our wood beads stocked up and as many of our rosary parts as we can. Those are so hard to keep in stock. We have a lot of supply chain issues with those since they come from Italy. Um, Italy went on <laughs> vacation, like the whole country goes on vacation um, during the month of August. And so it's like, not just that, we've had other issues too, but good for them for taking a break. I feel like us Americans could take a page out of their book, <laughs> but yeah, we regardless, have uh, issues with keeping stuff in stock. We did just place a huge rosary parts order that should be coming soon of new stuff. So we're gonna be doing a lot of new designs. So keep your eye on the shop because we're probably gonna have like so many new rosaries in the next like month or two. There'll be a lot of variety. Anyways, I'm gonna get our beads inventoried. I'll show you guys what I'm working with. Okay, so over here is just stuff that's waiting to be inventoried. We have a ton of pink wood beads. This is our um, Calcutta beads that we use on one of our rosaries. They're stone beads. And then we have a bunch of our, our little spacer bead caps that we need to inventory. So I also totally forgot to mention that we got all of this uh, Holy Land olive wood beads in today. I almost forgot that I need to inventory all of these as well. So adding that to the pile. I think I'll do these first. So let's do that. <laughs>
I cannot, oh, this is too close. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am to have such a full stock of light pink beads. This is what we use on one of our best selling rosaries that is just so, so popular. And we just have had so many issues getting these, this exact color of pink in. Um, and so just to have like this giant bin full is such a good feeling. All right, we've just got our um, stone beads and our bead caps and then we're done. Okay, I think we'll start with these Calcutta stone beads. I love these, I think they're just so stinking pretty. Thank goodness, that was not easy to cut through. And then we're just going to finish up with these ones last. I am going to just put them directly on the scale because they're so lightweight. I just, I want a really precise um, measurement. So let's do these bronze ones. That is 58 grams. These weigh 0.26 per. So that is 223 spacers. Okay, and the gold. Okay guys, so I just finished up all the inventory as you saw. So everything's put away now and I feel like today has been a pretty successful day despite spending like two and a half hours on the phone with my parents. Uh, I always do this on Thursdays, but I love talking to them and I, I miss them. So I think just what we're gonna do now is take the orders to the post office and I have to go to my chiropractor appointment and then I think we're gonna grab some stuff at like Sprouts for, or for dinner, <laughs> not lunch. So yeah, I'll take you guys along. We'll just stop by the post office and then probably wrap up the vlog after that. got done at the post office and the grocery store and stuff and we are heading back home so I think this is probably a good place to close the vlog out. I think we're just gonna chill the rest of the day but I wanted to show you the sky real quick because it looks kind of crazy. We're having like a monsoon happening kind of near our house. Yeah so here's the storm. It looks kind of crazy <laughs> but that's a monsoon. You guys have never seen one get a lot of them here. Yeah, just basically where it's all dark is uh, just rain falling. So we'll see if that catches up to us at our house. Yeah, so that's fun. We might have a rainy night tonight. But I will see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed watching, please be sure to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and say hi to Patrick. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, see you guys later, bye.